welcome back to my channel. I know before anyone says anything about my face, now it's a little darker than my skin tone. We're just going very tanned. This will be our very tanned blue look. We're just gonna rock with it, but you want if you want to see how this happened, um, just keep on watching. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So we're gonna do some blue makeup and I just so happen to be going to work, so... Yeah, I know I'm wearing a pink shirt, but I have a blue bow and I'm gonna fix up my hair and get my life together, but as of right now, this is how we're looking, so I'm gonna take the, excuse me, hiccups, and we're gonna take um, the AOA Sculpting Brow, and this is in the shade Dark Brown. I know I sound strange. I just, like, woke up. <laughs> Of you acting like I don't have a mirror right here. Yeah, I had the um, I had the opportunity to take a nap today, and I did. And then I had to be woken up for work to get ready for work. And um, my hubby let me sleep for an extra thirty minutes, which is fine. Um, actually good I need that extra 30 minutes because I don't have to go to work till 4 but um yeah I did not want to have to wake up to get ready for work kind of over my job and I just started working there and it has nothing to do with like what the job is itself it's literally just the staff Yeah, the sculpting down brow isn't my fave unless I have like thick brows, but since I don't because I cut them thin, I can shave my brows thin to let them grow, which was a good thing because I had a pimple right here that was being covered by hair, so it was time for me to cut them down, but still, um, we're going to take the Essence matte concealer, the camouflage matte concealer in the shade 30 light honey and use that to prime our lids today we have some maintenance work so that's my hubby talking in the background And since I don't, the palette I use is, doesn't have a translucent shade or anything that I can use to set my lid, I'm going to take this shade from the LA Colors Contour Palette. And that's actually really nice for setting the lid. Alright, we're going to start on the brows now. We're going to use the Fade in the Hue. Is that what this is? Yeah, the Fade in the Hue because I don't have the matte one. I was thinking about getting the matte one, but I'm not sure. But yeah, love this rainbow. Um, I'm going to take the shade Take It Easel. Then we're gonna go into the shade Watermark right here. It's like a sparkly matte, but it's the only other blue shade we have in this palette before going into this like dark blue, but we're gonna go into this one first. If we have a little shimmer in the crease, we do, but it should be fine. Oh, that's so pigmented.
Okay, I want to keep it this rounded like shape. So now we're going to go into the shade Iconic. Yeah, I'm not talking a lot in this video because I'm just tired. And I'm going to pop this on the outer corner and work it into the inner. All right, so I'm going back into the shade Watermark and doing like a swiping motion on this side because it is not as, like the color isn't as high as this eye. And then I'm gonna go into Take It Easel. And just go and lightly blend it out. Keeping that round shape because that's what I wanna I wanna keep how round it is. And then do a similar thing on this side, just blend. And now we're going into iconic for this side of my eye, the side of my eye, because I tried doing that, but the bright blue wasn't there really, so I have to go back. And then we're going to go into the shade Hot Copic. We're just going to add that icy shimmer there. Okay. So it's not doing like what I wanted to, so I'm going in my finger with the sheet and just My finger has shimmery blue on it, but that's fine. We're going to go into the shade Iconic again. And just blend that outer corner just ever so slightly. And just lightly swipe. So blend and lightly swipe. Blend and lightly swipe. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Just blend and lightly swipe. Blend in lightly swipe. Gonna do a little bit more blending on this side. Okay, that looks good. That looks cute. Both the eyes look cute. Fantastic. Phenomenal. Because I have to have time to eat. So that's a good thing. Um hmm. I'm debating on if I want to do a wing or not. I think we're going to do a wing for this look. Okay. 
gonna take the Wet n Wild Mega Liner and do a wing real quick. I'm just gonna do it off camera because I can't do this right on camera. So I'm gonna come back on camera and do like mascara and such and do the rest of the Alrighty you guys, that's the eyeliner. Um I'm gonna use the Too Faced Better Than Six Mascara. I'm gonna leave the eyeliner like this. I think it's cute. I look, think it looks fine. I can't believe I did a blue look that I actually liked. Usually I try to stay away from blue looks because I don't like the color blue. But I'm learning. I My goal for this year is to learn to like the color blue. So I actually really like this look, which is a shocker. But hey, you know, new things can happen. I also love how the blue makes my eyes like pop a bit more so yeah that works i'm not gonna do anything with the bottom lash line because i just don't feel like it it's not one of those days i'm gonna use the elf halo glow bit of the um, soul face and body bronzer the soul body face and body makeup not bronzer this is in the shade light 8 um, I'm gonna take this much and just and blend from here Before anyone says it, I know that my face looks darker to my neck. But that's okay, because we're not keeping it this matte. So we're gonna take this shade, and this shade, this one, and this one, and a little bit of that one. So one, two, and three. And use that to kind of calm our face down a little bit, because it's a little too freaking shiny for my liking it's just a little too dewy especially because I do have to go to work and I prefer to have a matte look but I wanted a little extra bronze to my face today And I feel like I'm still getting that glow peeking out, but my face isn't as bronzed. Yes, these two foundations are kind of too dark for me, but, well, this is a tinted one, but this is... This one's okay, but when I mix it with this, it's a bit too dark, so lesson learned. Um, just gonna have to conceal and contour it up. I'm gonna take the same... Essence concealer we used to prime our lids. And just brighten up the face. That's all we gotta do. I said I was not gonna be super glam. And look at me now. To balance out the face. Um. Yeah, this. It's not that bad. Um, concealer does help a lot. That's why I wasn't that concerned about it. Yeah. 
my little one is throwing a tantrum. But their dad is covering it so I can finish getting ready for work. Honestly, I really want YouTube to be my full-time job so that I can just stay with my little one and just sit here, film and do makeup. And I know in my vlog I said that I was doing a no makeup buy. I'm just going to change that to doing a reducing my makeup spending because I love buying makeup. It is, it's not an addiction, it's a hobby. I've gone a long time now without buying makeup, but it's not an addiction, it's a hobby. Um, and I love buying makeup for my channel because my channel is what I would love to become my job and I believe that it could be seen as, you know, buying makeup could be seen as an investment rather than what people consider useless spending. Um, everyone has their own things that they need to be able to spend for themselves after paying bills and for me it's makeup. I'm gonna go into the shade use that to set our concealer in place but as you can see the concealer brightening that we used the concealer that we used to brighten our face i don't even know what i'm saying at this point worked very well now we just have to add some blush um we're gonna use the roxy blush palette and I'm gonna take a mixture of these two I'm gonna go a little ham on the blush today because Whenever I say I'm supposed to get out at a certain time, I don't, and my makeup has faded by the end of the night, and I'm not trying to have it. You don't have to do any touch-ups. So I'm going to go a little bit more ham, and then lightly blend it with my beauty sponge. And for contour, we're going to use this contour palette, the LA Girl one and we're gonna go into this shade and this shade and mix them and add a little bit of this shade um dust it because we don't want to look stupid like i don't know why i'm going all out with my makeup because i'm gonna be wearing a mask because like, I wasn't wearing one at my job, and I felt super guilty, and then I started feeling a little under weather. Like, it wasn't like I was sick, but I was feeling really tired, and just not feeling really good, feeling really blah. Once again, it went away after, I after like, my day off. Like, it went away this morning, but, like, mm, that didn't sit well with me, so... Yeah, no. Even though I got my vaccine and everything, um, I just don't think I'm ready. Because when I go out, I wear a mask. So, you know, not comfortable to go in a grocery store without wearing one like that. Um, you know, sometimes me and my family don't have them on. Um, that's because we don't have any disposable ones in our car or anything like that, but we have to go to the store because family needs to eat, you know, but I don't know. I It, it, it feels weird to me not wearing one and um, where I work, it can get crowded, so, you know. We're taking the Sofex um, highlighting palette. This is probably one of my favorite highlighting palettes, but we're going to take this shade right here and... We're going to take this little brush because we're going to do our inner corner highlight, so that's one we're going to do first. Oh my goodness, it's making it blue. I don't want to make it blue, but it is making it blue. But, um, yeah, absolutely love this palette. If I see it again at T, well, I bought this one from Amazon, not Amazon, uh, Ulta, but if I see another one like this in TJ Maxx, I'm going to get one just because... Like, look at that. My inner corners have awakened. Oh my gosh. 
Um, I was gonna use this brush, but this is so dirty. Oh my gosh, no. We're gonna just take our powder brush and lightly go into that shade and just Yes. Yes. Fabulous. I don't know. I took the not feeling good after work as a sign that it's just not okay. Because unfortunately you can't trust people to not go out now if they have something, which is ridiculous, but I mean, that's the life and the society that we live in. Even though you're not supposed to go out and you can be all held accountable for it, people still do it anyway because they don't freaking care. But I'm not trying to get sick or get anyone in my family sick, so... And then to keep these bad boys in place, I'm going to take the Essence Make Me Brow. And just brush right through them. Love this brow gel, but I think I am, like the next time I do my makeup, I'm going to get a little something from Shop Masse, a little thing from Profusion, and a thing from... I think that's it, because... These foundations last me a long time, but I was considering going and getting backups because they're always on sale. And when good makeup gets put on sale all the time, that concerns me. It makes me think that they're not going to be having it anymore. And you never know with like ColourPop or Forfrey or, you know, Soul Body. They don't keep a lot of their stuff for long, so I don't know. It makes me nervous. I might just go ahead and just get a backup just so that I'm not freaking out. Um, in all my shades. So this is my tan shade. Um, I have one from when, when I'm pale and then I have my perfect match. But, um, but yeah, you just never know. Cleaning up. It's going to be such a pain sometimes, but I can't leave my makeup disorganized. It makes me feel icky. We're gonna use this um, Beauty Creations liquid lipstick. These are really nice too. Um, I did have the brown one on in my blog and that stayed all day, um, which I was amazed. So we're gonna wear this. This is in the shade Stay Calm, number, like number, hashtag number one, Stay Calm. Um, and if I ever see the set like this again, I'm gonna buy it because the nudes are beautiful. Okay, that's a little too nude for this look. That's a fine, that's fine. I'm gonna go on top of it with the Essence Stay 8 Hour Matte in the shade Duck Face. It's like a real pinky-like color, but. Okay, yeah. I don't know if I like that. This looks like a blue eyeshadow and pink lips. Oh my goodness. Okay, I don't really like this lip, and I think my favorite nude is in my purse. So I'm gonna go and check, and I'll be right back. Scratch that. After looking, um, like actually getting up and looking and not trying to look like from the side of you, um, 
we have my favorite one which is still the essence stay eight hour matte liquid lipstick but this one is in the shade hello sunshine But yeah, it is my all-time favorite nude, especially when I'm wearing a mask because it doesn't come off. But yeah, next time I go out, I'm going to get a backup of this one. It's not super drying, I'll tell you that. It's not super drying at all. My lips just are always really dry no matter what I do. I can put on lip balm before and put a gloss on it and still be dry. I don't know why. Um, I mean, I exfoliate and everything, but that's just what it is. But yeah, so we used to end up using three liquid lipsticks on our lips, but that's fine because when this stuff eventually comes off, um, there'll be a layer under and under and under. My... My hair looks a mess, so we're gonna handle that right now. Um, this was actually the shade of blue that was in my hair. I know it matches nothing, but that's fine. I mean, in person, it doesn't look that bad. I know because of the lighting, I look like a, a very bronzed Barbie doll. <laughs> um, but, or like a very tanned Barbie doll, but it doesn't look that bad. It looks a little different from my neck, but we can just take this sponge and just blend a little bit with the neck. I typically don't like to put makeup on my neck, but for the sake of being consistent, we're just going to add a little color to our neck. It's not a massive difference, but it's enough to kind of work with the shade that we have right now. Alright, that's good. That's fine. Whatever. Um, if someone doesn't like it, they can... Keep it pushing because this is my face and the way I do my makeup. So, and even I've acknowledged it, but I don't have time to redo this. So we're gonna take the Revolution Super Fix Super Hold Misting Spray. This actually smells really good. Yeah, it smells really good to me, and um, this keeps my makeup on all day at work. So, yeah, I'm probably gonna do an Ulta order, eventually a ColourPop one. Profusion and Shop Missé, potentially, but who knows? I'll probably just stick with just Ulta and Ulta and Profusion and do the ColourPop one later. I don't know, but I love the matte um, foundation, so. And it's not a continuous spray, you have to keep pressing it, so. I find it so funny because someone said this smelled like a can of cigarettes and like it smelled like a pack of cigarettes in a can, but it doesn't. Um, I guess people have weird senses of smell. I don't know. But yeah, my makeup does technically look good with my shirt, but um, that's not what we were going for. <laughs> I'm trying so hard not to laugh at myself right now, but it is what it is. We're just gonna be very tan looking today.
but like as I'm looking in the mirror it doesn't look that bad so we're okay but yeah that is it for this video please like comment subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next but that is it for this video you guys um I'm gonna go finish getting ready and eating um and do a little vlogging and I'll catch you guys in the next one bye guys